today in my kitchen i'm making famous butter chicken it's creamy and flavorful butter chicken is made up of countless version today i'll show you my version step by step to make north indian style butter chicken let's start for tandoori chicken marination you need 1 kg of boneless chicken or you can take with bone chicken too i'm adding 1 tablespoon of normal chili powder 1 tablespoon of cashmere chili powder 1 tablespoon of garlic paste and 1 tablespoon of ginger paste and salt to taste I have taken big size half lime but if the lime is small take one whole lime mix well and keep it in a refrigerator for 15 minutes for second marination you need two tablespoon of thick curd or hung curd and one tablespoon of cashmere chili powder and two tablespoon of oil and mix it well but if you take with bone chicken there will be slight changes in marination and cooking time please check my chicken tandoori video i have explained it well the link will be in the description box below and keep the marinated chicken for 30 minutes in a refrigerator i will list the ingredients further in this video to make a gravy for chicken you need one tablespoon of oil and two tablespoon of butter and add three bay leaf one cinnamon stick three inch and three green cardamom and two black cardamom and eight cloves add two onion roughly chopped and saute till it become translucent add salt the rawness of onion has gone now add five big tomatoes roughly chopped add small bunch of coriander with stem this will gives a good flavor to the gravy one green chili two inch of fresh ginger six to seven big garlic clove and cashew washed and soaked in a water add soaked cashews and seven dry cashmere chili soaked in hot water and i'm adding one teaspoon of cashmere chili powder close the lid and cook the tomatoes till it becomes soft and mushy open the lid the tomatoes has been cooked well the tomatoes look soft and mushy now add two cup of water we are adding water so that the cashew and fresh ginger and garlic become soft and to extract the juice from the coriander stem cook it in low flame for 15 to 20 minutes next step fry the marinated chicken use bottom heavy pan keep the flame in high so that the chicken will not release water and you will get a good tandoori burnt look on both the side of the chicken then reduce the flame to medium low and cook the chicken well if you are cooking with bone chicken please check my tandoori video i have explained it thoroughly open the lid after 20 minutes everything in this has been cooked well and the juices has been loaded with flavor let it cool down and remove the whole spice except green cardamom searching a clove in this is like a treasure hunt for me grind this into a fine paste no need to add water This is the texture you will get after grinding. Strain the gravy and you will get a soft and velvety texture. Add little water in a jar and take out all the remaining gravy. 
you can see the seeds and the skin of a tomato so always make sure to sieve the gravy to make makhani gravy in a pan add 2 tablespoon of oil and 1 tablespoon of butter 1 teaspoon of ginger paste and 1 teaspoon of garlic paste and saute it for a minute reduce the flame to low then add 1 teaspoon of kashmiri chili powder and now add the gravy when you make makhani gravy don't add water because the rawness of tomato will not go when gravy starts to splutter close the lid and cook it for 15 to 20 minutes in medium flame or medium low flame in between stir the gravy otherwise the bottom will burn after 20 minutes Makhani gravy process is completed. Now you can add two cup of water. When gravy starts to boil, add the chicken and mix well. Cook it further for 10 minutes. Let the gravy and chicken absorb the flavor. After 10 minutes of cooking, now add 1 table of kasuri methi. And 1 tablespoon of butter. Add salt. cook it for a minute and add 6 tablespoon of fresh cream or cooking cream after adding a fresh cream you should not cook longer fat from the cream will come out the creamy butter chicken is ready thanks for watching